A beautiful face will age. A perfect body will change. But a beautiful soul will always be a beautiful soul. Welcome folks, Monopoly Stocks here. Today, we'll be discussing about many important events which are going to take place next week. And also, we'll be mentioning few stocks which is growing short interest. So make sure to watch the video all the way through. You don't want to miss this. I'll see you right after this. Welcome back folks. Before getting started, I would like to thank whoever subscribed to us. We are closing on 1150 subscribers. And uh, sorry, we were not able to do the daily videos last week. We got caught up with uh, our work. Please uh, share our videos. In this way, you'll be encouraging us uh, to do more and more content and also helping us to grow our channel. So please uh, take a second to do that. Now that's done. Let's get into today's presentation. So before uh, talking about the stock picks uh, of this week, I would like to say how we do the stock picks. Okay, The main reason why we choose these stocks is depending upon the upcoming catalyst. We also look at the company's fundamentals and we pick the stocks which has the least downside. Okay, So make sure you watch and, and also focus on the catalyst which we mentioned because these catalysts we do a lot of research on this and from various uh, paid and also unpaid sources so there is a lot of content which we put into one video so make sure to watch this all the way through okay so last week we did mention about amc so it had a major short squeeze it went up from 27 dollars to 62 dollars everybody was focused on amc but at the same time we did mention in our uh, short squeeze uh, a category about uh, workhorse ticket symbol WKHS and it went up from almost ten dollars to seventeen dollars and seventy seven cents if you have watched and got into this play congrats for you and uh, also we mentioned last week about uh, blink ticket symbol BLNK it had a massive short squeeze it went up from twenty seven dollars to sixty two dollars so now let's get into this week's picks okay so if you look at the market uh, last week performance, you can see a lot of the stocks uh, are slightly up, but we have also read in major uh, companies like Facebook and also Amazon. We had EV company like Tesla in the red also. And uh, many of the stocks here, you can see it has green and also red uh, last week performance wise, right? But the stocks, if you get in with the upcoming catalyst, you can do that right up okay so make sure you always keep in mind the upcoming catalyst okay so the first catalyst is for june 7th at 10 15 a.m nvidia ticker symbol nvda is one of the more notable presenters at the evercode isi tmt conference and the shares of nvidia have broken higher amid reports on strong demand for the rtx 3080 ti gpu product and you can see they are releasing many products on their side and because of this the stock has rallied really high recently and uh, you can see here their uh, balance sheet and they have a very strong balance sheet you can see year over year their uh, net income has been increasing very strong and uh, their uh, expected net income of 5.3 billion dollars so just uh, keep NVIDIA on your uh, watch list. So the next uh, catalyst is for June 8th at 6 a.m. Four ticket symbol F officially introduces a new compact pickup truck called Maverick during an online event. The automaker is uh, looking to make a splash by pricing the truck around 20k level. So if you are invested uh, in Ford, this is very great news and uh, releasing a truck about 20k level is very strong and the ford is up by 37 percent over the last four weeks and just landed a straight high price target from jp morgan and uh, you can look at the balance sheet uh, here for ford and uh, their expected net income in 2021 is uh, about uh, 3976 million compared to 2020 they had a minus of uh, 1279 million dollars so this is very good. I feel like they're going to have a very good bull ride 
for Ford. So keep Ford on your uh, watch list, okay? And the next catalyst is for June 9th at 4 a.m. Nasdaq short report will be released and the huge meme inspired rally over the last week has increased interest once again in highly shorted names. Example, you have a workhorse ticker symbol WKHS and we have Clover Health Investment ticker symbol CLOV, Blink Charging ticker symbol BLNK and we have a ticker symbol FUV where near the top of the list last time and Nasdaq updated the short positions. So if you are invested in this, hold strong brothers and uh, I'm also invested in uh, AMC, it's all A strong, okay, we are gonna really do good on this and uh, if there is a dip in the stock just don't get worried and sell it out uh, immediately just uh, hold for that resistance because there is still short squeeze coming for uh, AMC okay so stay strong brothers and uh, let's see what's gonna happen they're not gonna take our money okay and throughout the week uh, volatility watch the meme stocks uh, will be watched closely again for the signs of cracking while AMC entertainment ticket symbol AMC GameStop, ticker symbol GME or heavy hitters with a thousand plus year to date gains and we have Reddit Buzz is also circling around uh, a longer list of names including Clean Energy which is CLNE, Bed Bath and Beyond, Blackberry ticker symbol BB and COS ticker symbols KOSS, Express ticker symbol EXPR Blue Apron, APRN, and Petmet Express, ticker symbol PETS. So keep this on your watch list. These stocks are uh, heavily shorted stocks and uh, this could have a bull run next week, okay? And uh, you can see here the stock uh, update. So the AMC has still a daily short uh, sale volume of uh, 38%. And we have uh, here for uh, GameStop about uh, 54% and uh, we have Bed Bath and Beyond about 43% uh, daily short interest and uh, we have uh, Blackberry about 42 and we have Petmates 42 and also KOSS about 35.80 and uh, here is the category where we talk about insider buying and insider selling so recently you can see here uh, there is a heavy insider buying for a few of these stocks uh, example uh, we have uh, srlp we have koti we have p or og and also you have u o n e so keep this uh, on your watch list because if uh, insiders are buying that means they know better than the regular uh, retail investors so Put this on your watch list if they come and uh, put any good news out there these stocks could really rally because the insiders are already buying these stocks okay and we have few of the stocks with insider selling on the top of the list is walmart the insiders have been selling heavily recently so put that on your watch list and also we have woof ticker symbol w o f f they've been selling uh, heavily so put this on your watch list not uh, if insiders are selling it could be for uh, their personal like to cash out some of their stocks uh, for personal money or not sure if the company is uh, going in losses or anything because they know better than us so keep this on your watch list okay so the next uh, category is for biotech uh, catalyst so on june 7th it's an all-day event for merck ticker symbol mrk ports and oncology event as a part of uh, ASCO conference, the data spanning over 20 years cancer types from its oncology research program will be presented and the shares of Merck rose more than 3% last year in the following two days after this oncology event at uh, ASCO. So put uh, Merck ticker symbol MRK on your watch list. This presentation if they tell anything really good about their research, the stock could rally, okay? And for June 8th, it's an all-day event. There is a FDA action date as for uh, Pfizer for their uh, vaccine, which is PV, P, and C vaccine. And also for Vertex Pharmaceuticals, one of their uh, product, which is uh, T-R-I-K-A-F-T-A. And uh, the next category is for uh, the upcoming IPOs. There are many companies which are going to IPO next week. 
out of this uh, we picked a few companies which we are bullish about we are bullish about mq dibs and lfst and our favorite pick is uh, mndy which is monday.com so let's see what is monday.com so monday.com has uh, filed a proposed term for about uh, raising about 490 million dollars on its ipo day so it's a israel based company and was founded to develop uh, uh, what it calls as a work os platform to enable organizations to more easily create software solutions from its frim low slash no code software building blocks and according to the market research report by market and market the global market for the low code software was estimated about 13.2 billion dollars in 2021 and expected to go reach about uh, 45.5 billion dollars by 2025 so you can see here they have a lot of growth ahead of them so this company is IPOing about 490 million dollars so there is a heavy growth in front of them okay and the market is wide open for these guys okay and the q1 2021 revenue went up by 84 percent which is really huge for uh, 2021 q1 okay and also we have a uh, few companies which are invested in this the sales uh, Force Ventures ticker symbol CRM and Zoom Video Communications ticker symbol ZM have entered into an agreement to purchase over 75 million of each, which is about 150 million of the shares of the IPO on the concurrent private placement. So these uh, companies are invested in this uh, Monday.com. So this company, I feel very good about it. I'll I'll be taking a small position. So put Monday.com on your watch list. Okay and uh, this uh, next segment is technical analysis on few of the stocks so the first one is t row the company is t row price and group inc and uh, it has a very strong resistance with uh, uh, on the trend line you can see it is uh, very it has a very strong trend line here and uh, the company has a profit over 30 percent and the p by e ratio is less than 25 so put uh, T R O W on your watch list because if it breaks through this uh, trend line, we can see a good spike up here. Okay. And the next one we have is First Horizon Corporation ticker symbol F H N, and you can see it has a strong uh, resistance here. Also, it's right about currently uh, the previous close price is about nineteen dollars, and uh, it is following the trend line very strong, and can see. The, the trend to be continuing uh, so so if you are invested in this uh, it's good and if you want to take a position at this level is good also because the profit of the company is uh, more than 30 percent and the p by e is less than 25 and uh, this one i'll be talking about uh, the simple moving average 20 more than simple moving moving average of 50 and also the company which uh, has more than 30 percent profit okay the first stock is for summit midstream partners and the previous close price for this is about 28 dollars and the 52 week high is 33.75 okay and you can see here the 20 simple moving average crossed over the simple moving average of 50 which tells uh, uh, the trend is going up so if you are invested in this nothing to worry about or if you want to take a position in this you can go for a little ride on this because uh, the trend line looks very strong on this and uh, the simple moving average for 20 has crossed the 50 so which tells the trend is going to keep on continuing okay the next one uh, on the same category is uh, e and v a and uh, for this also the simple moving average 20 has crossed over this uh, SMA 50 and the company has a profit over 30% and uh, the previous close uh, is about $36 and uh, the 52 week high is uh, $41 if you want to swing this one this could be a really good one because it has a very strong uh, trend line and uh, I feel like this should uh, cross the, the 52 week high so I might take a position on this and uh, put uh, uh, ENVA on your watch list. So that's it for today guys and uh, make sure to subscribe so don't miss out uh, our uh, weekly watch list. 
and we are uh, working on a couple of stocks which are going to release very soon and uh, always remember please wave good to each other thank you folks